Well, welcome. Hi. Hi. How are you? Uh, this is instant.me. I've got, yeah, no. I've I'm, the, like, I'm here all day. <laughs> have at it. 12 hours later, I'm good. Oh. That, was, that was my thought, exactly. Yes. Um, so congratulations. Uh, Transparent, very important show right now. Uh, you, you probably have explained this a thousand times already, uh, but what do you think... What, how important do you think is it to make a show like this at a time like this? I think, I think it's super important because I like to get paid. <laughs> Okay, yeah. that's most important thing, number one, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, number two. <laughs> number two, being a part of a civil rights movement and making an incredible show that's funny, irreverent, real. There's no greater privilege right now. And what we need right now is empathy engines in the world because our leaders have forgotten what it means to love and to lead from your heart. And that's the most important thing right now. Yeah, that's why I drink. <laughs> Uh, yeah, how about any any of you, or did he, did he... We've been sort of very aware, we were walking on the carpet, and I'm like, oh, this is even more important now. You know, I think our first year, we were kind of like the new kid on the block, and people were figuring out what the show was about, and it was coinciding with Caitlyn Jenner and a lot, and Lorraine, yeah, Oliver and Cox, and a lot of, like, issues that were coming to the cultural moment. This feels now more like a, a needed... Uh, battle cry uh, from the heart of, you know, we have to continue, you can't take anything for granted. Yes, there's been major movement in the cultural acceptance of our country, but there's still a lot of people who are uneducated, who aren't, don't have access to information, um, who are getting the wrong information. And, and storytelling is one of the ways that art changes the world. And so that's really all we have the power to do. We're not going to change a vote. We're not going to, we're going to be able to tell a story and it'll hit someone's heart and that will change their life. I hope. <laughs> I, I hope so too. That was very Alexander feeling. Like, beautiful. <laughs> she was talking about love. Do you want to like, try to top it? <laughs> that was no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I guess my, my last question is what is it like? Uh, do you think it makes a difference that it's on Amazon, that it's on a, a digital platform? Um, you mean in terms of not having enough access? Or even more. Or having, or, or reaching a, an online audience who... The great thing is, I think kids aren't, my daughter doesn't watch television, she watches everything. She doesn't even know the difference between what broadcast is and streaming. Yeah. So, I mean, the great thing is, is that any kid with a computer or a phone anywhere in the middle of America doesn't need their parents to know, doesn't need, they can watch and access content. There's an upside to that, there's a downside to that. I think in terms of this kind of program, it's beautiful that people who live in small communities who might not have access to these stories can have it on their own little phone and they can see that they're not alone. Beautifully put. <laughs> well, thank you for stopping and talking to us uh, and, and have fun in there. <laughs> have a good one. <laughs>